Welcome to Miriam's Kitchen. Today's video we are going to watch how to organize the refrigerator and make our life easy and inspired by many um, videos and pictures from Instagram and I wanted to do it and I wanted to inspire more of my folks. Let's see it. And most of the bins I bought for this organization are from um, either Dollar Tree or Home Goods which is um, budget friendly. It's not like too much. And uh, starting from the top shelf i have these um containers the one i'm like having some leftover cut watermelon and then um the chapati dough and i always make it in my um uh hand mixer i mean like the standing mixture and keep it it's really good and then i this is for a towel and i keep um chicken meat or fish for the next day so it really um have um a designated area for that so which is keeping the other food stuff from um, away from bacteria and stuff and in the second shelf I have these egg cartons which are again from home goods and then um, they look pretty and they're also it's uh, um, easy to handle and then this three partition bin which you see here is from Dollar Tree so which I keep uh, like it has like separate section of its own so we know which goes where and then this area is just for the milk so if i bring in extra milk i will um i will make sure that uh, it goes in the back the new milk and this is in the front and uh, um on the other side i have all these produce that are washed with vinegar and water so you just let it sit for 10 minutes and then rinse and pat dry and put it so trust me these all these fruits they stay for longer and they are ready to eat as good snack so the kids come and just take it eat and the water bottles in the back i do not use from it every day because that's for because we have dispenser in the door so we just for like when you want to go out and grab a bottle or so and then the baby carrots stay very good in the mason jar and um, there is this bin it's also from dollar tree and i keep these clementines there and these are it like uh, when you put in work washing these stuff and then it's easy to handle then and then i have this fruit bin where i have just all these apples mangoes and bananas and this is more veggie bin um and again i put this three section bin i keep usually keep lemon and lime there and then this is just the extra cut leftover onions which i will prefer i prefer usually in the next day not longer than that um, because onions are not safe to use like that and then I have uh, like plants and ginger stay there and in the next um, area we have this bin it's a very beautiful big one and I'm looking for another one for my lettuce I'm not able to find it and this one has my cauliflower and green beans and they are staying so fresh and then in um, this bin, the wire basket, again, this is from Dollar Tree. And I just keep the tomatoes. They just stay, like, really good in this bin. And this area is just for the leftovers. I really want to keep a minimal space so that that actually prevents us from food waste. So we don't want to eat, like, too much leftovers. And then we, it's so hard to clean after. And then we don't eat it and we throw away food. So it's always keep minimum so that we don't waste much of it. Then let's moving on to this cool pantry drawer where I have my rest of my produce and lettuce in bag. Still, I'm looking for a container like that to put it in so it will stay fresh longer. And then these three bins are also from Dollar Tree. And I have my okra and these are the broccoli florets. I bring in them and then I just cut it and put it like you don't necessarily have to wash it, but it stays good and then you can wash it when you want it. And these are carrots. And uh, these um, little containers are all from Michael's actually. And I just put my chilies, curry leaves and uh, chopped garlic. And this bin is for green onions. And the another bin, which is a life changer for me, is to storing cilantro. Actually, you with damp paper towel. Put it on the bottom and then you put, cut the twigs of the cilantro and then just keep it like that. And then you put a wet uh, damp paper towel on top. This is like, uh, if I give a close look, 
is like five weeks old which is pretty decent for its time i usually used to throw away so much cilantro just keeping it in the plastic it comes in um now it's like so much better and this area is just for our bread and uh pretty much it and then uh quick tour I, that's like a good idea like to keep like a suction cup here to put our butter stick and then um and then i also have all these squeeze bottles to put our mayo all these condiments there which is like handy and looking um it takes very less space and but uh i could put a lot of my sauces and it's like easy to serve on the table as well and uh, pretty much it thank you so much for watching if you like my videos like share and comment and subscribe if you haven't i will come back with more cooking and organization videos thank you so much for watching have a good day bye